Hello and welcome to Dino Flash videos. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving is a very important time of the year for Americans. The rest of you guys all over the rest of the world don't really understand it, but it's it's a special holiday in the United States of America where we say just thank God for whatever we have. Um, a lot of people have it worse than we do. And we're, we're pausing to say thank you for the bounty we have and um, the opportunity throughout the year to eat and live. Uh, I like to, on uh, Thanksgiving, to remember the armed forces and uh, military members serving in harm's way throughout the world who are sacrificing time with their family and the opportunity to share the holiday is to protect liberty and freedom uh, and fight uh, terrorists and other threats that uh, are necessary to uh, oppose. Uh, for those um, people, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate um, I know that it must be very lonely to be away from your family and uh, to, to be trapped somewhere that you don't want to be necessarily to, to serve. Uh, so that, on uh, Thanksgiving, I think about those people. Enjoy the video this week. We don't have a lot for you. Um, next week, we're going to have something very exciting. And I uh, wish you all the best. Man. Hey, how you You're doing? persistent. You want to have a fast fucking car, bro. You're yes. not giving up. No. All right. No our, way. our problem is, uh, I'm Big Al. Welcome to Dino Flash Video. I hope you're having a good time and enjoying your day and are very happy wherever you are. Um, we're here with this car. The car is excessive knock counts. So, first things first, snap on compression tester, do a compression test. Second thing, read the spark plugs. We, we take a magnifying glass, we look at the spark plug very carefully. And we examine what's going on. Um, we're not seeing any detonation activity uh, on this car. Uh, therefore, we're thinking that the motor is loose. So in order to diagnose whether the motor is just loose or that we have actual detonation, I have obtained a container of C16. And we'll run the car and see if the C16 has any effect on the, the sound that the knock sensor is hearing. Okay. I don't think it's detonation, but that is the best way to rule it out. If, if we put the C16 in and the noise stays the same, then it's just a noisy motor that was made too loose. As you know, the piston to wall clearance is very loose on this car. Yep. Too loose. Mm-hmm. Like good. I said, if they blow, I get another one. Well, we're, we're, we're not blown yet, so. <laughs> we're going to get rid of that shitty turbo very soon, and we got some uh, Kelford cams here. Okay. C16 in the tank. Cock, lock, ready to roll. We're gonna test it, and we're gonna see what's going on with the crazy knock counts on this, on the AM situation, you know? Um, this is one of the loosest motors. I don't know if the video can pick up, but I'm gonna try to get to make noise. Like right in there, you hear it? You can hear it, yeah, right? Yeah, I can hear that, yeah. Every time I hit the gas, you hear like a little like a like marbling sound, you know, from the from the engine. The pistons are really loose. Um, I hope the video can pick it up. Anyway, that that problem with that is once you start boosting it hard and you're hitting it hard, then then the um, uh, the knock sensors pick up a lot of sound, and then it's very hard to determine is that actually the uh, you know is that just the sound of the motor. Knock voltage. Um, is that the sound of the motor? You can see it's it's pretty active. Even when we're just flipping the throttle. Um, anyway, is it the sound of the motor or is it the um, actual detonation, which would be an uncontrolled combustion event, which is creating excessive force and destruction inside your motor? Now the spark plugs are looking perfect. Everything seems fine on the tuning side, but we're still having this un unexplained noise. So rather than take a chance. We're going to test it with the C16, with, uh, the C16 yep. to see, to make sure. Because basically with the low timing and very conservative tuning we have right now with the alcohol injection and C16, we should see absolutely no sound in a, in a normal motor. So if we're seeing sound now, then that would mean that the, uh, that would mean that uh, basically the motor's fucked motor. up. The motor's loose and you can't rely on the knock sensor. 
So you need to tune without it. Just a diagnostic measure to be extra safe. Because after all, it is your money that we're that we're fucking around with here. Are you ready? Yes. So why don't you hold on to this? We'll do the driving. Looks like we've got some visitors at the end of the strip here. Strong. Yeah. Fresh plugs. So then the, the, the motor, my diagnosis of the motor is very loose. Mm hmm. The motor is very loose. But you know what? It's impossible to really determine on one pole, so let's go back and do another pole just to verify. And then and then we'll see, we'll just check it again, you know. What do you think? Yes. What's up, man? What's going on? You got, you're a big Evo fan, you've had your Busher powered Evo for a while. Yeah. We put it together for you. Um, you ain't feeling the Aquamist scene. Uh, we're running 100% meth, you ran into a couple problems with small leaks. So he said, fuck that shit, take that shit off my car, and uh, tune it without it. Exactly. I suggest that you get a black turbo, you ain't feeling that either right now. So we're going with the stock turbo cams, front mount intercooler, exhaust, yeah. and uh, tune up. Uh, fucking, will you, will, you, uh, will you hold the camera for me? Yeah. Videotape this pole. Oh, hold on. We gotta move this down. There we go. Push your power, bro. <laughs> He's a push your part. Good power, you're making around 370. Wow. 378, man. Wow. Let's check out the torque. 356, 378. Pretty impressive, man. I think yeah. I think I'll uh, hold it out a little bit more. We'll do one more pull, and I'll hold it out a little bit more. Oh wait, man, that's good right there. That's beautiful, bro. I'll say to get a smoother end. That's that's a nice shot right there, man. You can't beat that power, man. It looks excellent. Yeah. Wow. So, so I hate to say it, man. It fucking it pains me in my heart. It pains me, man, to admit that George was right, man. It makes me want to fucking strangle myself, man. But you know that he was right, right? Yeah, he was. Right uh, on the he money. Said, he said it was going to make 370. I was like, dude, be happy with 350, 360. Yo, are you shaking, bro? I'm cold. You're, I'm cold, Your man. fucking hands are shaking, bro. He what said, the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you got anything you want to say to the, all the subscribers on YouTube, all the people watching? You got anything to say, bro? ICS performance. All right. All right but forget about me. I'm just saying uh, anything about the... Any messages for anybody? Messages? Still right. All right. <laughs> okay, bro. Um, dude, it's a hot car. This is the SE, right? Uh, MR. MR SE or just regular MR? MR SE, yeah. MR SE, that's yeah. what I thought, bro. It's got the red stitching. Yeah, it's a hot car, man. Really nice, bro. How does it feel to have such a nice car? Oh, it's awesome. I enjoy driving. What would you rather, you know, I hate to put you on the spot, but what would you rather have if you had to choose one? What do you mean? The car or the girlfriend? Oh. <laughs> Good answer, bro. I'm like watching this. I take the car, bro. Is that what you said about I'll take my Evo, bro. 